Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Reading English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, this particular session is for all the NEET 2025 aspirants. As per my teaching experience, I have come up with the chapter-wise most important two to three topics which are going to come in your upcoming NEET examination for sure. By analyzing the previous year papers, by having a look on the difficulty level, by having a look on what are the topics frequently asked, frequently touched, the most important ones from a particular chapter, right? I have come up with this particular session. But before showing you all of this, if you see here, I have mentioned categorically 90% chemistry paper from these topics. I mean it exactly. So whatever topics I'm going to give you in the today's session, please and please do not avoid them at all, right? Prioritize the topics which I'm going to give you the most for the upcoming NEET 2025 examination. Okay, so before showing you the topics, I hope all of you must be familiar with the fact that tomorrow we are starting a new and the fresh series on YouTube, right? Which is absolutely free of for all. Perfect. It's the one short series basically, the which we call as the NEET 2025 endgame. One chapter will be complete in like three to four hours with all the theory, all the important important stuff. Right, so tomorrow is the first session exactly at 8 p.m. So I'll be teaching you atomic structure, complete full chapter tomorrow exactly at 8 p.m. So I would want every one of you to participate in this series because it is going to be super beneficial for all of you, right? So right now I would want you guys to click on the session and do click on notify me so that you remain updated about this particular session, okay? And do attend all the sessions of this particular series. This is going to be super beneficial because all the chapters will be again started from the scratch only, from the basics only, okay? Now, my dear students, the chapter-wise most important topics which you cannot avoid at all. First of all, we start with mole concept. In mole concept, I would say just prioritize the most three topics. What are those? Your stoichiometry, limiting reagent, empirical molecular formula. They are the most important ones when it comes to your uh, neat examination. Uh, from the chapter mole concept. When it comes to your atomic structure, Bohr's model, what exactly you have to study in Bohr's model? In the Bohr's model, we do the calculation of radius, we do the calculation of velocity, we do the calculation of time period, we do the calculation of frequency, right? Please and please have an eye on that, okay? Quantum numbers, again, one of the finest topic, right? Which is, which students find very easy and from this topic, again, questions are asked. Then comes your probability distribution diagrams of uh, your 1s and 2s. Basically, psi versus R and psi square versus R, particularly for 1s and 2s. And one thing you need to add over here, that is the calculation of nodes. Calculation of nodes. Perfect. Then comes your periodic classification. Identification of the period number and group number. Questions have been asked, will be asked too. Ionization energy, again one of the important topics. Electron gain enthalpy, electronegativity. Some short, short topics from the chapter periodic classification. When it comes to the bonding, in case of uh, chemical bonding, Right, which consists of your four to five questions. Shape and geometry for sure is going to be asked. Hybridization for sure is going to be asked. Your bond parameters, which involves your bond order, bond length, right, bond strength, all those things you have to cover on priority. Okay, moving on to the next chapter. Your next chapter is your thermodynamics. My dear students, when it comes to the thermodynamics, in thermodynamics, I would say your thermodynamic processes plays a vital role, right? Delta H and delta U relation entropy and gives free energy. These are the short, short topics from the chapter thermodynamics. I'm not involving thermochemistry here. This is just the thermodynamics part. From the chapter solution, ideal, non-ideal solution, the questions based on them, uh, which are related to your Rolle's law, your colligative properties. All the four colligative properties are equally important because you never know whether they'll ask questions from elevation and boiling point, depression and freezing point, right? So I've mentioned categorically the colligative properties which you have to discuss in detail, right? When it comes to equilibrium, in equilibrium, KPKC calculation plays a vital role. Lee Chatelier principle is there. pH calculation, again, one of the short, short topics, which everywhere is, every year is asked, and your solubility product. These are the short, short topics from the chapter equilibrium. Kinetics, experimental determination of order of the reaction. First order kinetics, first order reactions, their integrated rate equations, their half life, their degree of dissociation, etc., etc. And then comes your Arrhenius equation. Again, three short, short topics from the chapter. Uh, kinetics. When it comes to your electrochemistry, in electrochemistry, my dear students, Nernest equation, your Faraday's laws of electrolysis, and Kohl-Ross law. One chapter I have skipped here. What is that? That's your redox reactions. So let me note down redox important topics here only. 
In case of redox reactions, my dear students, what exactly you have to study? You will first of all study the term oxidation state. You will study the term oxidation state, right? You will study some of the important structures. Some of the important structures which involve your CRO5, CRO6, uh, your Caro's acid, oleum, Marshall's acid, bleaching powder, right? Uh, similarly comes your uh, C3O2, Br3O8, right? All those structures you have to discuss here. Then comes one of the important topics. What is that? That is your, what do we call it as? We call it as the equivalent mass. Equivalent mass calculation, right? And my dear students, one more thing. That is your titration part. This is again something which needs to be discussed. Perfect. And in solution, I'm, I'll be adding one more topic. That is your concentration terms, right? Because from concentration terms, questions are frequently asked. So you need to do them on priority as well. Okay. Then, when it comes to your coordination chemistry, in coordination chemistry, three topics. One is valence bond theory, one is crystal field theory, and isomerism. Three short, short topics, right? Like anything can be asked. Uh, whether, the mole whether, whether the compound is inner orbital, outer orbital, what is the magnetic moment? Is it paramagnetic? Is it diamagnetic? What is the hybridization involved? All those things you discuss over here in detail, right? Uh, as well as the color. DAW block, your KMNO4, K2, CR2, two important compounds, very important compounds. Do them from NCRT directly and your lanthanoid contraction. Okay. One thing, guys, which I'll be adding, which I'll be adding over here, that is your thermochemistry part. In thermochemistry, what exactly will be asked? My dear students, let me first of all tell you, you would have studied the Hess's law. I'm sure about that. This is the favorite topic in the chapter. Thermochemistry, Hess's law, number one. Number two, your enthalpy of formation. Enthalpy of combustion, enthalpy of formation, enthalpy of combustion, and enthalpy of reaction from what? From bond orders, sorry, from bond energy. Enthalpy of formation, enthalpy of combustion, enthalpy of reaction from bond energy, and your enthalpy of neutralization. These are the four short, short topics which are asked from the chapter thermochemistry. And when it comes to your organic, in organic, I have summarized everything, right? What are the favorites which will be asked? Carbocation, carbene instability, your resonance, hyperconjugation, right? The, this is your basically your general organic chemistry, right? Then different types of reactions like you have got SN1, SN2, E1, E2 reactions. Again, uh, like frequently they are asked. Dehydration, Lucas test, aldol, Canizaro's Claisen con condensation. Similarly, your side chain oxidation, diazotization, coupling reactions. Perfect. Basic strengths of amines, Jaldal's method, Dumas method, chromatography, distillation. These are the short, short topics which will be coming in your organic chemistry. And my dear students, one more suggestion. Do not skip the naming reactions at all. Do not skip the naming reactions at all. I am telling you, if these topics which I have given you in the session, if you make them strong, like if a question comes from any of these topics, if you are, I mean, you should be able to solve each and every question from that particular topic. Okay, then. I am telling you, your chemistry has always been your second most scoring. This year also, it's going to be your second most scoring subject, right? Please and please do share this video with every neat aspirant so that everyone gets benefited out of this particular session, right? And with this, I'm going to take a leave. You take care. God bless you all and love you all, guys. Bye-bye.